Today we're going to talk about how to create a Google map based off of an RSS feed. First thing we need to do is find an RSS feed that has some kind of geolocation data in it. I always like to use the US Geological Survey feed as an example. This is an RSS feed of earthquakes that have occurred in the last 30 days. To create our Google map, the first thing we need to do is create our RSS connection. Click on the new Atom RSS connection. This will bring up the input form. We just need to give our feed a memorable name like earthquakes and the URL we can just copy straight from here. Clicking Save, Bluey will go out and fetch the structure of that RSS feed and store it in its database. Here you can see the newly added RSS feed. And if we want, we can preview it. And here you can see the first five, uh, five sets of data from that RSS. In order to create a Google Map, the next thing we need to do is, is create a report off of our feed. So clicking on the report link will bring up the report edit screen. We will see basically the same thing we saw in the preview. It's a list of all the fields that were in the RSS. And here we can edit, reorganize, change the uh, um, title headers, and delete uh, columns if we don't want them. For example, I don't want to see the region or the seconds. Uh, the title, let's call that summary. And let's move that over in front of pub date and description. I like to have a capital D. I'll move that over after summary and link. That makes more sense as URL. Move that over after summary. Uh, we'll keep the pub date. The depth we will get rid of and the subject we'll get rid of. But the latitude and longitude we will keep because these are going to help us plot our map. Once we have all the columns that we want to see in our report, come down and click the Create Report link. We now have a report and if we were to preview it you would see that the report contains just the columns that we defined as well as the column headers that we defined. In order to create an export um, and a Google Map isn't an export type we could either click on exports or down here for the specific report or click on the export tab up at the top of the screen. Either way it will bring up basic list of custom exports as well as the new types of custom exports we can create. We want a new map and we're going to base it off of the earthquakes report. This will bring up the map edit screen and as you'll see on the map edit screen here we have control over some various data elements including the size of the map. We'll make our 600 by 500. We'll change the icon color to red and let's make it orange. That's more earthquakey. And in this particular case, we're going to plot by geocode. I'm sorry, we're going to plot by uh, latitude and longitude because the latitude and longitude were in our report columns. And since they were named lat and long, we've the blue code has auto selected on those. If they were named latitude or longitude, it would also auto select on those. If we didn't have latitude and longitude, we could plot by geocode by clicking this link and bringing up and mapping our data fields to the street, city, state, zip, etc. But we have lats and longs, so let's go back to the, the lat long plotting. In our pop up bubble on our map, I want to see a summary of where the earthquake occurred. I also want to see the date and when that earthquake occurred, and maybe let's see the description. I'll give us some additional information. I don't need to plot the Latin long, see the Latin long up here because they're already listed in this data set and we're going to be using them for plotting. So clicking on the create map, I have now created my custom export type called map of the report name earthquakes. And if I preview it, I should get a map up here with all of the earthquakes that have occurred within the past 30 days plotted out. And it looks like right now, I've got one right here in the middle of Carlsberg Ridge. And that is how you create a Google map off of an RSS feed.